Hey guys, and welcome back to another Train Simulator video. Firstly, I'd like to give a shout out to my supporters of the channel, who are Vanilla Splash and Peter Boswell. But yeah, today we're going to be doing the 1940 London Liverpool Street to Shenfield service using the class 315. Unfortunately, I can't show you the front of this train because the camera seems to be a bit screwed up. So we'll change the destination once we depart London Liverpool Street and set it as uh, Shenfield, but in the meantime we can get the train set up and we'll open the doors we'll set the lights for night running since it's kind of the night time now I guess uh, there you go, oops that's the wrong one that correct? Well, I guess so. Uh, we'll put this on as well, which is the foot warmer, even though we can't feel it. Anyways, so we can change the brightness and up the volume here. I'm not too sure what number we have to put in this uh, system, but so we'll leave that for now. As our service terminating at London Liverpool Street. So we're driving, driving an 8 car train as you can see the rear 4 carriages are in this uh, old Greater Anglia livery in the blue and green and the front 4 carriages are in this white and red livery which is the same as this train so a bit of a difference in terms of our uh, front and rear of the cab but a bit of a look around at London Liverpool Street Station not much to see unfortunately but of course you can change it for the central line metropolitan line circle and hampstead for city line got this class 321 it's probably come from southern victoria got class 360 here coming from I ipswich and yeah we're gonna be doing all station service to um shenville so probably take around 45 50 minutes in total fortunately there's no passenger view for this train so I can't show you that so we'll just go like this and quickly show you how it looks quite busy train it seems it's quite a laggy scenario as well because it's quite low AI so do experience quite a lot of lag then well there's nothing much I can do about it oh, we'll close the doors now manually because we can't do it uh, automatically turn the DI off and We'll be on our move. First station is Stratford. So as I mentioned, this is the class 315 from Armstrong Powerhouse. Quite a nice train to drive. Sounds amazing, looks amazing, and I really enjoy driving this train, so definitely worth getting if you're interested in this type of train but yeah once we leave this tunnel part and I will change the destination so it's set to Shenfil as I believe it's currently set to London Liverpool Street so we'll be calling it Stratford Maryland, Forest Gate, Manor Park, Ilford Seven Kings Goodmayers, Chadwell Heath, Romford Gede Park, Harold Wood, Brentwood, and then Shinfield. So let's just change the destination now to Shinfield. I think the rear changes as well. Yeah, that changes to Shinfield as well, so that's good.
as we have a 315 and a 321 literally sandwiching us. That's what we're doing for the return journey from Shenfield. I believe that branch line that goes towards the left hand side goes towards Hereford and Stansted Airport. Unfortunately, it's not giving us any timings for all the stations apart from the last one, which is Shenfield, so... Not too sure exactly what time we're meant to arrive at the station, so... It's a bit annoying. As it will tell us if we're up on time or not. But we will shortly be arriving at Stratford, where you can change for the Central Line, Jubilee Line, the DLR, London Normal Ground Services, and other National Rail Services. I think it should be a clear run as well, so we shouldn't get held up at all. Double flashing yellow, but we should be okay. Oh, it's starting to rain now, actually. So uh, we'll on the wipers once we stopped. Literally as soon as we arrive at traffic it's like starting to piss with rain which is kind of hilarious. So we'll open the doors. And the wiper should be here somewhere. Uh, hopefully. Oh it should be here actually. There we go. Alright see you then. Quick, let's close the doors. And once that light illuminates blue, then we should be able to uh, get going. There we go. Oops. 
next station is Maryland. Oh, what's this? We're currently having problems with the next two signals ahead. Please press tab to obtain permission to pass them at danger. Okay then. Uh, looks like quite an empty station at Stratford, unfortunately. Would have liked to see some AI. But anyways. Actually seeing any red signals, so I'm not too sure what it means by faulty signals. Because we've got two green signals ahead of us, so it looks like maybe the person who made this scenario fixed the issue that they were having. Or maybe we're just really late and we should get a move on. Approaching Maryland. Home of Maryland cookies. Just about fits this platform, so that was a kind of a bit difficult to fit the train, but we've made it. So we can actually close the doors um, earlier, I think. Is it closing? I think I have to wait for that pop to uh, show up, I think. As of a class 3 to 1 blasting passes, heading towards London Liverpool Street. Our next station is Forest Gate. Before we skate. This is Forest Gate. Minor gap between a train and a platform edge. You can tell how old this route is. I'm pretty sure these signs have fully changed. If this route got, got updated. Sometimes this barn doesn't want to work. There we go. So you do have to click it a few times. Next station is Manor Park. This is a great Anglia service to Schoenville. So 
I believe this service has actually been replaced by TFL Rail, if I'm not mistaken. I guess maybe some Britannia services do still run between Shenfield and Liverpool Street as well. Just to cope with uh, peak time services. Approaching Manor Park. I think we've all shot this. Not by much, but slightly. Not the best brakes on this train, unfortunately. Okay, now it's completely sunny and it's not raining at all, which is kind of hilarious. So, you know what? Let's turn off the wipers. I really am enjoying this, uh, what's this called, um, dynamic weather. Where is it? Okay, I'm not too sure how to off this, I'll be honest. It does say it's washed fast park, or actually it might be park. Is that it? Nope. Uh, let's get on a move and then we'll sort out how to turn off this wiper. I would have thought it's like park. That's yeah, I'm not too sure guys, I'll be honest. You know, I'll pull this lever on slow because... Maybe you guys can tell me uh, how to turn off these wipers because I have no idea. Unless there's another button around here where, which allows you to... Um, turn off the wipers. The signal bill there. Yeah, anyways. I mean, it'll probably rain it anyway soon as well, so. Might as well be prepared. As we approach Illiford. This is quite a cool approach to the station because we're going downhill. Kind of like the end of the roller coaster. Third. 
Let's have a London Full Street service. Arriving. Next station is Seven Kings. It's a fast service. Maybe to Chelsford, I guess. Wave switch. What are you guys can let me know? What services class 321s operate? So once we do approach seven things, we will be halfway completed. It's quite annoying that you can't turn off the wiper. again. So this is looking like a really short platform so we'll probably just about fin a car train. To be fair, actually, you can actually fit a 10 car train. So I'll take that back. The class 321. For those who are wondering, that is the Armstrong Powerhouse class 321. It sounds really good. And not the Dovetail Games version. Trains ready to depart, please mind the doors. Next section is good mares. Good mares. Mind the gap between the train and that platform edge. Pretty deserted platform, I'll be honest. Got a few passengers departing.
I mean, it really doesn't feel like 8 o'clock in the evening, to be fair. It looks like 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Anyways. We'll close the doors. Next station is Shadow Heath. This is a great Anglia service to Shenfield. Followed by Rumford, Gidey Park, and then Harold Wood, followed by Brindwood, and then Shenfield. So I've got still a few more stops left on our journey. Now we're putting Shadow Heath. Yeah, I kind of feel like we've always shot this again. I did think the platform was kind of longer, but I guess not. Shadwell Heath, quite a nice station, long platforms. Man, it's, these wipers are really annoying me. I mean, that's on slow and it's still kind of fast, which is. Kind of funny. Anyways, next station is Romford. She's just over two miles away, so might be able to get up to speed now. Five stops left. Uh, Shenfield is only ten miles away, so. Getting there. Shortly be arriving at Romford.
You go slightly more forward. Just so the rear cab can fit. There we go. That should be just about okay. Yeah. screenshots for the thumbnail today so it's gonna be fun to pick which one I should use for the video but anyways it's time to get going next station is GDA Park GDA Park followed by Harold Wood Brentwood and then Shenfield Now I'm pushing GDA Park. For some reason, right to the end, it just didn't want to break and stop. It's kind of weird. Anyways. Look at what's happening now guys, it's raining, which is absolutely fantastic because that's what I kind of wanted to happen and it's happened so I'm quite happy with that. <laughs> At least our wipers are not stupidly on for no reason. I mean it's literally gone from really bright to like really dark and like cloudy. Oh, that does not sound good. We applied too much much fossil there as we accelerated. But yeah, next station is Harold Wood, followed by Brentwood and then Shenfield. It's 
really starting to come down now. Well, let's put maximum wipers. Looks like we need it. Now approaching Harold Wood, which has a really long platform it seems, so we shouldn't have too much trouble uh, slowing down for the station. Harold Wood. Train is ready to depart. Three minor doors. Next station is Brindwood. Shortly be arriving at Brentwood. Our penultimate stop. And 
Shedfield is just like two miles in front of Brentwood, so almost reach our final destination. Three sixty overtaking us. This is Brentwood. Our penultimate stop next station is Shenfield where this train will terminate. This train's ready to depart. Minor doors. Next session is Shenfield. Looking like the rain is clearing up now, so it'll probably get bright as soon as we arrive at Shenfield. So ETA is telling us we are going to arrive there late, which is not great, but hopefully we can make up that time. Even though our ETA is going up, which is not what we want to see. I kind of feel like some of the stations are wasting a bit too long and maybe accelerate it from these stations a bit too small. Now pushing Shenfield with this train terminates, all change, all change. This train terminates here. Got a 
360 of last 315, probably heading back down to London Liverpool Street. stop here. 30 seconds late unfortunately but nothing I can do about it. And yeah that's the end of our journey. This train will probably head back down towards um, London Liverpool Street most likely. And the funny thing is it's now um, bright, the sun's out and yeah. And we still don't know how to off the wipers, so please let me know in the comments below how to off the wipers. There's a button and a keyboard that you can use for that. Good luck, driver, that's done for now. Oh, we forgot to close the doors, but oh well. I guess the next driver can do that. But yeah, that was the 1940 London Liverpool Street to Shenfield service. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, if you did give it a like, share with your friends and I will see you in my next video, bye guys.